Joining me on the line, he is brand new to We Are Iowa Local 5, ladies and gentlemen. Chanu Her is on the line. And Chanu, welcome to Iowa. Uh, what's your new position? Let's hear about yourself and uh, let's just hear it all, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very excited to be here. I'm going to be anchoring uh, Good Morning Iowa uh, with the we are, uh, we are Iowa team. I'm excited about that. I'm originally from the Midwest. I moved back here from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in the South for a few years, but I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, cool. Born and raised, went to school there. And so TV news, you know, journalism, it takes you all over the place. So I've been moving around for almost 10 years, and now I'm back in the Midwest. And it's just nice to be back. I, I love the vibe of the Midwest. I, I was going to say, because you uh, Atlanta, much bigger market than Des Moines, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was, there a re- was it just uh, you want to be closer to home that you came back this way? Was there something about We Were Iowa that stuck out to you? Uh, or did Atlanta just it just not do it for you? You know, it, it, it's a combination of the first two points you made. You know, I wanted to be closer to my family. Um, now I can drive three and a half hours north and I can be with them. And also I wanted to just make a make a pivot to um, to, to anchoring because I've been reporting. I've been out in the streets for so many years for my whole career up to this point. And so I really got some really, really good reporting experience under my belt, especially in a large market like Atlanta, Georgia. So, you know, when I wanted to make that pivot, I just, when I got in touch with We Are Iowa, it just was the perfect fit, you know, and okay. so it, it was a no-brainer to come to this team and work with just this really talented group. I guess I've never thought about the part of the difference between being, you know, being out on the street and being an anchor. Yeah, it's, it's you know, there, there are similarities, but there are also big differences. And um, I wanted to to get my hands in, in, into the field of, of anchoring as well and sort of develop those skills. And, you know, when I was looking for a, a new shop to go to, and I met the team here, it was, again, it was just almost a no-brainer. I mean, I'm in good hands, and so I'm so excited to be with this team and be in Des Moines and really get to know this community. What's the news that really gets you going? Like, what are what do you get excited about to go cover or to talk about, and in this case, you know, being an anchor, throwing it to? I, you know, one thing that I'm really passionate about, and I, and I take this with me from city to city that I moved to for journalism, is I'm very, very passionate about uh, refugee families, immigrant okay. families, and I'm, I'm really passionate about um, uh, teens who grow up in a more urban setting. Um, that's sort of my story. I'm the children. I'm the child of immigrants. And so for me, those stories are very important to me. They're very close to me. And so, you know, while I'm here in Des Moines, you know, I, I really want to embed myself in those communities and help tell those stories. Like I said, I looked you up on YouTube, and you've got a ton of stuff out there. If there was one story that uh, you could point people to, maybe you know from your, uh, you know, your reel, uh, what would you point them to to really know what Chinu Her is all about? You know, I, I think I would point to a story that I did earlier this year. I was in Atlanta, and that was when the Atlanta uh, mass shootings happened, and. Um, It was one of those things where it just really hit close to home for me Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, it it really uh, shook the Asian American community. And so uh, I really was able to get, you know, get into those communities and tell those stories. And I think that was just a really good show of what I stand for as a journalist. I'm someone that I'm a part of the community that I cover, you know, I'm not just a journalist that lives here. I am like a part of this community. And it was just a a combination of me caring about the people I I live around and also really being invested in good uh, journalism. And so that's what I'm here to do in Des Moines. I'm here to tell your stories and I am ready to hit the ground running. Uh, Chinu, what's the scaredest you've ever been while covering a story? What's the scaredest I've ever been? The most scared or scared. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of hurricane coverage when I was on really? the East Coast in Virginia Beach. Uh, I think hurricanes really scared me because they're just so unpredictable and you just can't really tell how strong it's going to be, what the path is going to be. And I've I've been out there, you know, when you see on TV, the, the reporter in the street, you know, is standing yeah. out there. I've been that journalist before. And uh, it's pretty terrifying uh, at times. And so when those <laughs> things happen, you just have to coordinate very well with your with your management. But I think that's probably one of the more terrifying things that I've had to cover. Has there ever been a story that you're like, nah, I, I'm OK. I don't have to go do that. <laughs> yeah, there there have been some throughout the years. But, you know, I think uh, uh, for me, I, I never turn down uh, a challenge. And so unless it puts my safety at risk, uh, I don't I don't really 
you know, you I would, try to follow through with an assignment. So you you went stood in a hurricane. That's putting your safety at risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, you know, it's one of those things where it's you, it's it's hard to predict. So at first, you know, it does may not seem as strong, and then as it comes closer, you're like, oh man, ah. Uh, so then you kind of just have to back up and yeah. get out of the way. Uh, Chinu <laughs> joining me on the line. I mean, you could literally <laughs> get flattened by a billboard. I mean, that's that's standing yeah. in a hurricane. So yeah. Uh, has there ever been a story that you didn't get to go cover? I, I always wonder about that because it's so competitive in your guys' line of work. Was there one that you're like, man, I wish that would have been me? You know, I I, I look. Hmm, I asked the tough. Qu- I asked qu- the tough questions here. That that is, you're, you know, you're stumping me. That's a good question. You know, I wish. I wish I would have gotten to maybe do some sort of maybe sit down with with like a, a, a presidential candidate or the president. Um, yeah. You know, I've, I've covered the vice president, uh, Vice President Mike Pence. I've covered um, Senator Tim Kaine when he was running for vice president. But it would have been kind of cool to, to be actually able to sit down with with a sitting president. So I, that's one thing that maybe okay. is going to be in the bucket list for me as a journalist. And one day, you know, hopefully that happens. I want to get some of these answers because I want to know what, uh, what you're made of here. What, what's the, the, the goofiest story you ever had to go cover? Like the one you're like, ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I think about this all the time. My very, very first TV news job was in Eugene, Oregon. And I remember I had to go to a nudist camp to cover <laughs> a story. Now, when I tell you, like, that was one of the hardest stories to shoot because for obvious reasons. Um, but, you know, I think about that story all the time, and I've never had to be so creative in shooting and editing video. <laughs> Did you do, like, the, uh, what was it, Mike Myers and Austin Powers? They'd always have something in front of the, the new news. <laughs> yeah, so I always had to frame everything so that you just cover the right areas. And oh. so... That was one of the goofiest, but also the most challenging, like <laughs> logistically, for me to cover. That's awesome. Uh, what else you into, Chinu? What, what what should we know about you? Sports teams, food, yeah, movies. So I am DC Marvel, <laughs> I, pro wrestling. What what are we into here? So funny you bring that up because I'm a huge uh, superheroes, Marvel, DC guy. Oh I've no! All those those movies like a million times. Um, I of course am a diehard but sad. Minnesota sports fan, um, and uh, I I'm a huge lover of spicy food okay. and wings. And I will say this for for the listeners: I have never had a food that I've deemed too spicy. So if there's a challenge out there, oh I'm, god, I'm going to do it. oh I will we not turn it down. We must do this. I I don't know. I, I would, would just want to turn it down. I want to be a part of this, and I don't. I I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, did you watch What If this week? I did not. So I have a couple of them queued up that I need to watch. Oh, you're killing me, man. We could have had a whole conversation about just that. I have those queued up to watch, and I'm supposed to watch Squid Game on Netflix. Squid so Game? Things. Yeah, it's like this new hot show on Netflix that keeps trending, and all my friends and my family are talking about it. <laughs> so I told them I would do it. Uh, best Marvel movie ever made? Oh, best Marvel movie ever made. Oh, uh, I think, aside from The Avengers... I'm gonna say uh, Winter Soldier. Ooh, that's a good that's a good pick there. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a big Winter Soldier fan. We'll see how nerdy you are. Uh, Goku versus Superman. Oh, <laughs> I, I might have to go Goku just for just for the childhood memories. <laughs> uh, real quick, since you do know who Goku is, have you ever watched Dragon Ball Z abridged? I don't think so. No, no, that's new to me. Uh, we will talk about that off the air. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Chinu, it was good to get a hold of you, man. Uh, I, I look forward to having you on. Uh, you sound like a cool dude and uh, uh, something we could talk about. Oh, by the way, um, just so you know, Brandon Lawrence, big Mississippi State fan. So I, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Chinu, I noticed. Uh, good luck to you, man. Uh, really, the, it's good. Uh, welcome to Des Moines, and I uh, can't wait to see you on the air, okay? Thank you so much. Call me anytime.